Here are Grandpa's 39 oddly useful plant hacks you'll wish you knew sooner. Sprinkle coffee grounds for acid-loving plants. According to Grandpa, coffee grounds provide nutrients and help maintain the acidity for plants like blueberries and azaleas. First, collect used coffee grounds and let them dry completely. Once dry, sprinkle a thin layer of the grounds around the base of your acid-loving plants. Gently work the grounds into the topsoil to avoid clumping. Coffee grounds lower soil pH and add organic matter, improving soil structure. Reapply every few weeks for consistent results, especially during the growing season. Plant garlic to repel aphids. Did you know that garlic is a natural pest deterrent? It's particularly effective against aphids. Start by planting garlic cloves around the base of susceptible plants like roses or tomatoes. Push the cloves into the soil about one to two inches deep, spacing them four to six inches apart. The strong smell of garlic repels aphids and other harmful pests. Water the area regularly and let the garlic grow alongside your plants. For added protection, use garlic spray made by blending garlic with water and applying it to affected leaves. Spray diluted milk for powdery mildew. Milk is a simple solution for combating powdery mildew on plants. To make the spray, mix one part milk with nine parts water in a spray bottle. Apply the diluted milk solution to the affected areas of the plant, covering both the top and underside of the leaves. The proteins in the milk react with sunlight, creating an environment that inhibits mildew growth. For best results, Spray weekly and reapply after rain for continuous protection. Plant seeds and hollowed out potatoes. Hollowed out potatoes create the perfect biodegradable planter for starting seeds. First, cut a potato in half and scoop out a small cavity in the center. Place your seeds in the hollowed out section, cover them lightly with soil, and then plant the entire potato in the ground. The potato provides nutrients and moisture as it decomposes, helping the seeds germinate. Add lime to soil for calcium. Lime is an effective way to boost calcium levels in your soil, promoting healthier plant growth. Grandpa always used lime in his garden and swore by its results. Begin by checking your soil's pH, as lime works best in acidic soils. Spread finely ground agricultural lime over your garden or lawn using about five pounds per 100 square feet for most gardens. Rake the lime into the soil's top layer, allowing it to penetrate. The added calcium strengthens plant cell walls and supports root development. Bury banana peels for nutrients. Banana peels are rich in potassium, phosphorus, and calcium, making them perfect for your garden. Start by cutting banana peels into small pieces. Dig a small hole about two to three inches deep near the roots of your plants and bury the peels. Cover the hole with soil and water the area lightly. As the banana peels decompose, they release essential nutrients that promote root health and plant growth. This method works especially well for fruiting plants like tomatoes and peppers. Mix Epsom salt for greener plants. Epsom salt, which contains magnesium, can help make plants greener. To apply, dissolve one tablespoon of Epsom salt in a gallon of water. Pour the solution directly around the base of your plants or use a spray bottle to mist the leaves. Magnesium boosts chlorophyll production, which helps plants absorb more sunlight and turn greener. For best results, apply once a month during the growing season to keep your plants vibrant and healthy, especially for tomatoes and roses. Dip cuttings in honey. To promote rooting, honey is a natural rooting hormone that helps plant cuttings establish roots. First, prepare your plant cuttings by trimming them just below a node. Dip the cut end of the cutting into raw honey, coating it evenly. Honey has antifungal and antibacterial properties that protect the cutting from disease while encouraging root development. Once dipped, plant the cutting in soil or water and monitor for root growth. Honey boosts the chances of successful propagation for many types of plants. Water plants with leftover cooking water. 
leftover water from cooking vegetables or pasta contains valuable nutrients. After boiling, let the cooking water cool to room temperature. Use this water to hydrate your garden or potted plants, pouring it directly at the base of the plants. The nutrients leached into the water, such as potassium and phosphorus, feed the plants and help improve soil health. Just make sure the water is unsalted to avoid harming your plants. Plant marigolds to repel pests. Marigolds are excellent pest repellents, especially against aphids and nematodes. Grandpa always had marigolds in his garden for pest control. Start by planting marigold seeds or seedlings around the edges of your garden or near vulnerable plants like tomatoes. Space the marigolds about 8 to 12 inches apart. As they grow, their scent will repel many harmful pests. The chemical compounds released by marigolds disrupt pest life cycles. To enhance effectiveness, mix different varieties like French marigolds, which are particularly effective at warding off nematodes and other soil-borne pests. Use newspapers as mulch to suppress weeds. Newspapers make an effective and eco-friendly mulch for weed suppression. First, lay down several layers of newspaper over your garden bed, overlapping them to cover all areas where weeds might grow. Wet the newspapers to keep them in place, then add a layer of compost or mulch on top for aesthetics and additional nutrients. The newspaper blocks sunlight, preventing weeds from germinating. Over time, it decomposes, enriching the soil with organic matter while keeping your garden weed-free. Scatter eggshells to deter slugs. Eggshells are a natural way to keep slugs away from your plants. First, rinse and dry the eggshells. Crush them into small, jagged pieces and scatter them around the base of plants prone to slug damage, such as lettuce and strawberries. The sharp edges of the eggshells act as a barrier, making it difficult for slugs to crawl over. As the shells break down, they also release calcium into the soil, benefiting your plants. Reapply after rain for continued protection. Install an owl nesting box to deter moles. Owls are natural predators of moles, and installing a nesting box can encourage them to live near your garden. Start by choosing a sturdy tree or tall post, ideally about 10 to 15 feet off the ground, in a quiet, undisturbed area. Securely attach the owl nesting box and ensure it's facing away from strong winds. Owls will help control mole populations by hunting them at night, providing an eco-friendly solution to your mole problem. Regularly check the box for activity and maintenance. Make seed tapes with strips of cloth. Seed tapes help ensure even planting and spacing. Cut strips of cloth, such as old cotton or fabric scraps, about one inch wide. Using a flour and water paste, stick seeds along the strip spacing them according to the seed packet instructions. Once the paste dries, plant the entire strip in a shallow trench, covering it lightly with soil. This method helps ensure consistent seed spacing and makes planting easier. Cloth seed tapes also hold moisture better, encouraging faster germination. Trap aphids using soapy water. A simple soapy water spray can effectively control aphid infestations. Mix a few drops of mild dish soap with water in a spray bottle. Shake it gently to mix. Spray the solution directly on aphid-infested plants, especially under the leaves where aphids tend to hide. The soap breaks down their protective outer layer, causing them to dehydrate and die. Use tin cans as reflectors to scare pests, Tin cans can act as a deterrent for pests like birds and small animals. Clean the cans and remove any labels. Drill small holes near the top of the can, thread a string through, and hang the cans around your garden. The reflection of sunlight and the sound of the cans clinking in the wind can scare away pests just like Grandpa used to do. For added effectiveness, Combine them with reflective strips or bright ribbons to increase movement and light reflection. Water with leftover tea to boost plants. Tea is packed with nutrients that can benefit plants. After brewing your tea, let the leftover tea cool completely. Grandpa always poured his tea around the garden after enjoying a cup. 
You can also do it around the base of your plants, especially acid-loving varieties like hydrangeas and roses. The tannins and nutrients in the tea help improve soil structure and provide a mild dose of organic matter. Be sure the tea is unsweetened and free of milk to avoid attracting pests. Wrap plants with burlap to protect from frost. Burlap is an effective material for protecting plants from frost. Cut a large enough piece of burlap to cover the entire plant without compressing the foliage. Drape the burlap loosely over the plant, securing the edges with rocks or stakes to prevent it from blowing away. This allows the plant to stay warm while still maintaining air circulation. Remove the burlap once the frost danger has passed in the morning to avoid overheating the plant. Bury fish heads under tomatoes for nutrients. Burying fish heads under tomato plants provides essential nutrients for healthy growth. Dig a hole about 12 inches deep where you plan to plant your tomato seedling. Place a fish head at the bottom. Cover it with a few inches of soil and plant the seedling on top. As the fish decomposes, it releases nitrogen, phosphorus, and calcium, boosting the plant's growth. Burying deep prevents odors and animals from digging. Clean rusty tools with vinegar. Vinegar is a natural solution for cleaning rusty tools. Uh, start by soaking your rusty tools in white vinegar for several hours or overnight, depending on the severity of the rust. After soaking, scrub the tools with steel wool or a brush to remove the loosened rust. Rinse the tools thoroughly with water, then dry them completely to prevent future rusting. For added protection, apply a light coat of oil to the tools after cleaning to keep them rust-free. Scatter crushed chili peppers to deter animals. Crushed chili peppers are an effective way to keep animals like rabbits, squirrels, and deer out of your garden. Crush dried chili peppers into small flakes and sprinkle them generously around the perimeter of your plants or garden beds. The strong, spicy scent and taste will irritate animals, discouraging them from nibbling on your plants. Reapply the chili flakes after rainfall to maintain their potency. You can also mix them with water to create a spray for easy application. Use terracotta pots for slow irrigation. Terracotta pots are a simple method for providing slow, consistent irrigation. Take an unglazed terracotta pot and bury it near your plants, leaving the top exposed. Fill the pot with water, and the porous material will slowly release moisture into the soil as needed. This method ensures your plants stay hydrated without overwatering, especially in hot or dry conditions. Refill the pot as needed and use multiple pots for larger garden areas to maintain consistent moisture levels. Add sand to soil for straighter carrots. For straight, uniform carrots, mixing sand into your garden soil is key. Begin by loosening the soil in your carrot bed and removing any rocks or debris. Add a generous amount of coarse sand to the soil and mix it thoroughly. The sandy soil provides a loose structure that encourages carrot roots to grow straight and deep. This method also improves drainage, preventing carrots from becoming misshapen. For best results, use a 1. 1 ratio of sand to soil. Hang soap bars to keep deer away. Hanging strong scented soap bars is an easy way to deter deer from your garden. Choose a fragrant soap such as Irish Spring and cut it into smaller pieces. Place each piece in a mesh bag or tie it with string. Then hang the bags from tree branches, garden posts, or fences around your plants. The smell of the soap confuses deer, discouraging them from coming near your garden. Replace the soap pieces every few weeks for maximum effectiveness. Cover drainage holes with pebbles to prevent soil loss. Did you know? that you can prevent soil from escaping through drainage holes by using pebbles. Before filling your pot with soil, place a layer of small pebbles over the drainage holes at the bottom of the pot. This simple step ensures that water can drain properly without soil being washed away. The pebbles also create better air circulation around plant roots. After the pebbles are in place, proceed with adding soil and planting. Set beer traps for slugs. 
Here's a classic hack from Grandpa, beer traps, which are a natural and easy way to control slugs in the garden. To create a trap, bury a shallow dish or cup in the soil so that the rim is at ground level. Fill the container halfway with beer. Slugs are attracted to the yeast in the beer and will crawl in, but they won't be able to escape. Check the traps every morning and replace the beer as needed to keep your garden slug-free. Use willow water to root plant cuttings. Willow water is an effective natural rooting agent for plant cuttings. Begin by cutting fresh willow branches into small pieces. Place them in a container of water and let them soak for 24 to 48 hours. The water will absorb the natural rooting hormones from the willow. Dip the cut ends of your plant cuttings into the willow water before planting. This promotes faster root development. You can also water the soil with leftover willow water to encourage growth. Add composted leaves to improve soil health. Composted leaves are a fantastic way to enrich your soil. Start by collecting fallen leaves and letting them decompose in a compost pile. Once they've broken down into a fine, dark material, mix the composted leaves into your garden soil. This process improves soil structure, adds nutrients, and helps with water retention. To speed up decomposition, shred the leaves before composting. Using leaf compost is an easy way to enhance your soil's fertility naturally. Hang aluminum foil strips to scare birds away. Keep birds away from your garden by hanging aluminum foil strips. Cut long strips of foil and attach them to stakes, trees, or fences around your garden. The reflective surface of the foil catches the sunlight, creating flashes that scare away birds. Additionally, the sound and movement of the foil in the wind add to the deterrent effect. Use multiple strips for larger areas and reposition them periodically to keep birds on their toes. Use crushed charcoal for better soil drainage. For plants that struggle with poor drainage, crushed charcoal can make a big difference. Start by crushing natural, untreated charcoal into small, manageable pieces. Mix the charcoal evenly into your soil or potting mix. The charcoal's porous texture improves water flow and prevents soil from becoming compacted. Over time, it also helps balance moisture levels, making it especially useful for potted plants and heavy soils. Plant stinging nettles to attract beneficial insects. Stinging nettles are a great way to naturally encourage beneficial insects in your garden. Select a sunny or partially shaded spot with well-draining soil and plant nettle seeds or seedlings about a foot apart. Water them regularly to maintain moisture and let them grow. Nettles attract pollinators and helpful bugs like ladybugs, which will feast on garden pests. Not only do nettles support your ecosystem, but they also can be harvested for compost or used in herbal preparations. Use potato water as fertilizer. Potato water, full of beneficial nutrients, can be repurposed as fertilizer. After boiling your potatoes, save the water and let it cool completely. Pour the cooled potato water around the base of your plants. This nutrient-rich liquid contains potassium and phosphorus, essential for healthy plant growth. This method works especially well for root vegetables and flowering plants. Just make sure that the potato water doesn't contain salt, as salty water could harm your plants. Place broken clay pots to retain moisture. If your garden suffers from dryness, broken clay pots can help retain moisture. Gather the broken pieces and bury them near the roots of your plants. The porous nature of the clay allows it to absorb water and slowly release it into the surrounding soil, keeping plants hydrated longer. This method helps maintain consistent moisture levels, especially during hot weather. For extra effectiveness, Use alongside mulch or compost to provide even more water retention in your garden beds. Hang garlic or onion to repel pests. Using garlic or onion to repel pests is a simple and natural method. Start by peeling several garlic cloves or cutting onions into slice. Grandpa always said this was one of the best ways to protect plants. Tie them in a mesh bag or wrap them in cheesecloth, creating small bundles. 
Hang these bundles around your garden, especially near plants that are prone to pests. The strong scent of garlic and onion deters pests like aphids, rabbits, and deer. Refresh the bundles every few weeks for lasting protection. Soak seeds in chamomile tea to prevent fungus. Chamomile tea is a natural way to prevent fungal infections in seeds. First, brew a cup of chamomile tea and let it cool to room temperature. Place your seeds in a small bowl and pour the cooled tea over them. Let the seeds soak for 12 to 24 hours. The antifungal properties of chamomile help protect the seeds from damping off, a common fungal disease. After soaking, plant the seeds as usual. Reuse the tea to water seedlings for continued protection. Use crushed cornmeal to control weeds. Crushed cornmeal is an organic weed deterrent. First, clear the garden bed of any existing weeds. Next, sprinkle a thin layer of crushed cornmeal over the soil, focusing on areas prone to weed growth. Water the area gently to help the cornmeal settle. Cornmeal prevents weed seeds from germinating without affecting established plants. Reapply after heavy rain or every few weeks to keep weeds at bay. Bury matchsticks for sulfur. Matchsticks can be a simple way to provide plants with sulfur. Dig small holes about an inch deep around the base of sulfur-loving plants, such as garlic, onions, or peppers. Place two or three matchsticks head down into each hole and cover them with soil. Over time, the sulfur from the matchstick heads will be released into the soil, promoting healthy growth. Repeat this process at the start of each growing season for continued nutrient support. Lay pine needles to acidify soil. Pine needles make an excellent natural mulch for acid-loving plants. Start by collecting fresh pine needles and spreading a 2 to 3 inch layer around the base of plants like blueberries or azaleas. Make sure the needles are spread evenly and kept a few inches away from the plant stems to avoid moisture buildup. As the needles decompose, they lower the soil's pH, making it more acidic. Plant basil near tomatoes to repel pests. Basil is an effective companion plant for tomatoes, repelling pests naturally. Begin by planting basil seedlings or seeds about 12 inches apart around the base of your tomato plants. The strong scent of basil confuses pests like aphids and whiteflies, protecting your tomatoes. Regularly prune and harvest the basil to encourage growth, which will keep the scent strong and the plants healthy. The added bonus is that the basil also improves the flavor of your tomatoes. For more contents like this, click here to subscribe.